Accused killer Sarah Boone sends a strongly worded handwritten letter to her public defender and judge ahead of her coming trial. Florida prosecutors say the 44-year-old murdered her boyfriend, 42-year-old Jorge Torres Jr. in February 2022 by putting him in a suitcase and leaving him there to die. At the time, Boone told investigators she and Torres had been drinking and playing a game of hide and seek. After that, Boone says she went to sleep and woke up hours later when her phone rang. That's when she says she found Torres unresponsive. Officials say Torres was zipped inside the suitcase for hours. Shocking cell phone video was later released, showing Boone speaking to Torres while he was inside the suitcase. For everything you've done to me. Oh. For everything you've done to me. Oh. Fuck you. <laughs> Sarah. Fuck you. Sarah. <laughs> Stupid. Sarah. That's my name. Don't wear it up. But we're now getting a closer look inside the mind of Sarah Boone through a series of handwritten letters to the court from the Orange County Jail. The first letter came in April 2022, when Boone wrote to her case's judge about her representation. Boone argued her defense attorney did not communicate with her about a continuance in her case. More letters followed in October, November, and December of last year, with another being sent in January 2023. Throughout this time, Boone's representation has switched at least four times for both irreconcilable differences between the attorney and client and conflicts of interest. Boone's most recent letter, dated March 22, 2023, is addressed to her current defense attorney, Frank Banowitz. The letter reads in part, quote, Mr. Banowitz, this is my third letter trying to reach you over another almost six-week period now. The same two phone numbers you've given me still do not work. The one number, your personal cell, goes to voicemail directly and doesn't even ring. I've had this number since you personally gave it to me back in July 2022 upon your appointment as my attorney by the court. Not working still eight months later. The other number rings and rings and rings until it automatically disconnects me. Not working either. This is also the number you continuously tell me it just needs to be activated. Please activate. I even in my description to speak with you had an outside caller try to reach you on my behalf who tried calling your office three times over the last almost three weeks, leaving a voicemail each time with no reply. We're both hoping you are able to reply to her email she sent today as another form of trying to communicate with you. I've exhausted my resources and am again just sitting here waiting for you to contact me in whatever way you are able and as soon as possible, please. Time sensitive matters are at hand as I have made you aware of previously verbally and in my letters. I know you have attempted to schedule the minimum 15 minute. At this point, there's a break in the letter. There may be a missing sentence or page. It picks back up by reading, quote, My pretrial conference, I found out, is now on 3-31-23, which you said previously, for whatever reason, I am unable to attend any of these conferences. How am I supposed to know what's going on and what you are reporting and what is being discussed between all other parties except me, the main component in my case, especially if we, in a still unestablished attorney-client relationship, are not in regular or proper communications with one another? Why can I not be in attendance and participate in my PTC, meaning pretrial conference? How else am I to be kept updated in real time and actual minutes during the conference if not there myself? I have no way of knowing anything if not updated by you, my attorney, and do not have a computer to use slash view myself. Help me understand, please. How can Court TV, different news channels, and even professional YouTubers attend my PTC? Again, meaning pretrial conference. And I cannot. How? I'm sure one of the other parties can help me with updates since they will all be in attendance for me also, should you be unable to provide. Why can I not be included in my PTC for my case? I'm sure also everything from the conference, collected from everyone else, will be vomited all over the internet just like everything else had been non-permissively and can add even more dysfunction and ignorance to my prejudgment already made by the world in the great court of public opinion. I would like to be part of all this, seeing as it all pertains to me. Please, it is my right. 
So many questions, concerns piling and piling up from not being, and that's where the letter cuts off. On Friday, Boone's trial date was again pushed back from an April 10th start date to July 24th. Her status hearing was also delayed until July 11th. Right now, she's being held in the Orange County Jail without bond, where she's been for more than three years. Reporting for Long Crime Network, I'm Sierra Gillespie.